Greetings from the workshop. Uh, a bit of an update of uh, how we've sort of been going. We've actually got one of the doors on. Um, so, to make a long story short, she opens up. Um, our hinges, I tried desperately to make the hinge go internally, but it just didn't work. It wouldn't fold around and come around and then fold over the top of the roof. Because what I wanted to do was have it so that when the roof opened, when, when the side opened, that the lip of that door would come inside so that it flows into this gully. So even if the door is sitting up here, like so, the water will run back into here. It's not running inside the toolbox. So we just got some 30-30 by uh, 1.6 uh, to create the door. Um, one handle on the door. Uh, I'm a big fan of one handle. I don't really like the twos. Um, so, and then we just have pins that run either direction and they lock. And then obviously we'll have another pin that runs down here. So it's three locking points. So, um, sort of come up pretty well. Obviously we're just bolted through here. Uh, there's just going to be like a comp panel, aluminium compressed panel over the top of this and these holes just go through. But, um, so this is the style of it. Um, generally speaking, I'll just change hands and see if I can get it open. All right. So she comes up and sits over the top and then at the moment it still needs a lip on the outside of it. But by the time that this door is open, it is actually going to sit over the top of that RHS. So all the water will run into the gutter, uh, which is a really good thing. We're, we're at around about 1,950 mil, so it's going to make a very good um, weatherproof structure. And it sits up very, very nicely just to create this, this wonderful veranda uh, over our toolbox. So... Uh, it's taken a bit of work, and we'll just close it down. Obviously, it'll have gas struts on it. Um, but, uh, yeah, generally, I'm really happy with um, how that's sort of come up. Uh, the other one's inside. I'll mount that on the, on the trailer tomorrow. It's upside down. Uh, but, yeah, we're getting very close to having the structure done in terms of the trailer, so... I am looking forward to having it nearly finished. Another thing that we've been playing around with is I make hollow axles uh, just to try and reduce light, weight. So just buy a stub axle like so, uh, stick it in the lathe and then machine it down to 40 mil. So it'll sit into a lump of 50 50 by 5 mil square hollow section and uh, because because it's like that um the axle is actually parallel so and then i just plug weld it so that's what i've sort of done in the past so i've got another axle i've got i've got two axles already made and the third one will be on there so that's the trailer uh it's starting to really take place take shape i'm really really happy with the way it's sort of coming up uh, and looking forward to getting the next part done. We'll catch you around.